this video, I'm going over the mistake that you're making that's stopping you from getting your crush. Too many young men are making the exact same mistake far too often and they aren't even aware of it. And I've even done it myself and it sucks because you build up this relationship, you go on dates, you flirt, laugh, you tell her your family about her and then all of a sudden she's gone. And now you look like a dickhead because you have to go and explain to your family why you're no longer together. Which is why I'm going to help you all out and stop you from making this crucial mistake. To begin with though, I want to tell you a story, but to do that, I need to introduce you to a guy named Matthew Woods. He's on TikTok. And this is where I saw it at least. And by the way, there's no like hate or disrespect to him. I'm just using it as an example. But here's how the story goes. I was talking to this girl. He'd been seeing her for a while. He really liked her. And basically he was going to see her for Valentine's Day, I believe. He went to the supermarket to go get her some stuff, like things as a gift kind of thing. As he was leaving to go ride over to see this girl, this other girl who seemed like fairly attractive and kind, a complete stranger, stopped him and asked him if she could go for a quick ride with him on his motorcycle. And he rejects her because he's head over heels for this girl he's going to see. So he rejects this attractive girl and goes to see his crush. And that night that he tries to pursue his crush and take things further, she then tells him she's not looking for anything serious and she wants to keep it casual. Completely fair enough, right? So he then goes home and proceeds to ride home as fast as he could just because of how upset he was. And in my mind, that puts him in a pretty, like, really dangerous position if he had crashed. But anyway, I kind of analysed the situation and I thought, hang on, I've been in similar situations before and I know so many other people have been as well and you may even be there right now. So I thought I'd make this video and try and help some of you guys and give you clarity that you may need right now. The biggest mistake most guys are making is assuming. This is most guys' downfalls when it comes to getting into a relationship. They just don't know how to communicate effectively. They don't ask important questions and they flirt without intention, hoping that it gets them somewhere. So how do we avoid this situation and how do we avoid you guys falling into the same trap? You need to not be assuming. You can't just assume she's on the exact same page as you are. One of the first questions I always ask when meeting a girl is what she's looking for. This way, right from the get-go, you know exactly where you want to go with it and what you want to do. You need to be doing the same. This is how you avoid that trap that Matt fell into. That's mistake number one. But that was also another key mistake from there, aside from assuming. And that is committing too early. I don't know what the situation was, so I can't say much really in my mind he's committed himself when for her she's not even thought about that so another key lesson that you need to take away from this is to not commit too early some may argue and say he did the right thing but why he rejected a girl that the universe could have intentionally put into his life to make it better so obviously he's taken the situation he's learned from it which is arguably like the next best thing right you could have done but anyway, imagine that this girl was going to become his girlfriend, but he committed too early and rejected to her. My point is, keep your options open. Some may say this is harsh, but I, if, I think if you have good communication with someone, then it's not. For me, I have a rule. And that is, I won't commit until I've had a conversation with someone agreeing for us to be exclusive. Let's, but let's follow the path. Of, like, let's say hypothetically, he had taken this other girl for that ride, right? So he takes her on this ride. She has a laugh, walks away happy with a brand new memory. She just went on a bike ride with some stranger and an attractive one as well on top of that, that she can now go and tell her friends and her other people about. And all he did was take her on a ride for two minutes. For me, the feeling of seeing someone happy or laugh or smile, that's like the best thing. So even if he hadn't got on a number on Instagram, they both benefit because they both have had fun. And let's say he did the smarter thing here, right? And he did get a number or did get her Instagram. At least now when his crush rejects him, he's not thinking, fuck, well now I lost her and I missed out on something that could have been great as well. So when he's riding home, he's thinking, oh, well, that went wrong. But at least now maybe I can get to know this other girl. Maybe she'll want the same thing that I want. So it's not so bad. So it makes that loss of that crush nowhere near as bad as it actually was. You can argue and criticise and say that's horrible all you want, but at the end of the day, in that situation, nobody loses. And I'm not criticising or being disrespectful by any means. He was doing what felt right, which is fine, and it was his prerogative to make that decision. But he could have come away from that with a much better headspace. So unless you've had that commit commitment conversation with your partner, 
and you've both agreed you won't be seeing anyone else, then in my mind, like, you should act as though you're single, because you are. Even if his crush had found out and she wasn't comfortable with it after he'd done it, it's nothing that a simple apology you couldn't fix. It's not like he knew she was uncomfortable with it beforehand. It's not like he made out with her. It was just a two-minute ride on a bike around the block. Nothing crazy or romantic about that in any way, shape or form. Simple as that. These are the two biggest mistakes that guys are making every single time when it comes to getting their crush and trying to pursue something further with that crush. If you guys find this video valuable, click this button here. And if you want more value, then watch this video here. I'll see you guys tomorrow.